what are the odds that the coffee you're drinking contains some of the same water molecules that were in Abraham Lincoln's coffee the day he took office? I'm Professor Jeff Rosenthal, and we're about to find out. Ah, nothing better than a morning cup of coffee. Nothing better than a cup of coffee out of a clean mug. Nothing better than a clean mug filled with water molecules that have been around since the year Abraham Lincoln was elected. Is it possible that the coffee in your cup, or at least the water molecules, have been reused over and over again for hundreds of years? Not only is it possible, but it's true. The cycle of life not only pertains to animals and humans, but also to water, though it's not nearly as magical. Try and follow along. Once water leaves your home, let's say through a sink or, um, the toilet, it goes to a sewage treatment plant. From there it's cleaned and often released to rivers and oceans. Next, evaporation takes the water to the clouds. Eventually it rains into a reservoir in a town near you. And the water from that reservoir, it was in your coffee this morning. And this cycle has been going on forever. So what are the odds the water you're drinking contains some of the same water molecules that were in Abraham Lincoln's coffee the day he took office? Lincoln's coffee has long since mixed in with all the world's oceans, and the world contains an awful lot of water, about a billion cubic kilometers. So the water molecules in Lincoln's coffee represent just a tiny fraction of all the world's water molecules, about one part in five billion trillion or so, hardly any at all. That means that any one molecule from your own coffee has just one chance in five billion trillion of coming from Lincoln's cup. But wait, water molecules are tiny. Even your cup of coffee contains an unimaginably large number of them, about 10 trillion trillion. That is such a large number of molecules that even taking just one five billion trillionth of them still leaves us with 2,000 molecules. This means that your coffee probably contains about 2,000 water molecules that were in Lincoln's coffee the day he was elected. And the probability that it contains at least one of those molecules is a virtual certainty, 100%. To repeat, water molecules in Lincoln's coffee, water molecules in your coffee this morning, same water molecules. I'm Professor Jeff Rosenthal, and those are the odds.